there, welcome to the Upcycled Design Lab. My name's Cindy and I craft using recycled and repurposed materials. If you're new here, I hope you'll stick around and check out some of my other upcycling tutorials. And if you like what you see, you can check the subscribe button below any of my videos to become a subscriber. Also, if you'd like to be notified when I upload new videos, be sure to check the bell icon as well. So for today's video, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to go. I was redoing a spare bedroom that we have, so I'm getting rid of our old mattress and box springs. But this is truly, maybe horrifyingly, an antique. Um, and it, it weighs a ton and I can hardly move it. But the other thing was is that I discovered that it has the actual old springs in the box springs. So, what I want to do is kind of tear this whole thing down and see if I can get the springs out so that I can use those for some crafting projects. So I'm going to go get some tools and get started. Like I said, I have no idea what's going to happen with this project because I'm just kind of winging it here. So I have a utility knife and a pair of scissors and I think where I'm going to start is just trying to take the fabric off of the cover here. So I know there's some wood on there and then once I get down to the metal and the springs I have no idea how uh, easy or hard that is going to be to get apart. But the first step I think is just to get all the fabric off and get that thrown away. So, so far this has been pretty easy. The cover's coming off very nicely. I'm not sure how I'm going to get the bottom off yet, but um, probably I'll just figure out a way to cut it off. Anyway, you can see the springs back here. Uh, I don't know, this part was sort of some old batting, you know, really old batting. And then underneath that is this, this kind of scary layer of, I don't know, it looks like straw or something. I don't know. It's very heavy and it's definitely the old technology when, when making a box spring. So um, I'm going to continue getting this off of here, but I just wanted to stop and show you the springs. I'm not entirely sure how they're going to come apart. Um, yeah, I don't know. Could be interesting to try to cut this metal, but uh, I'm hoping I can get it all deconstructed and taken apart so that I can get it out of this room and start doing some craft projects. So here's a look at my progress. Uh, you can see the padding that's made up of a soft kind of cotton batting. It pulls apart really easily and then there's the heavier sort of scratchy blanket that might be, I don't know, straw, horse hair, I have no idea. And then you can see the all the springs uh, with a little more detail here. So I've got my work cut out for me getting all these springs apart. All right, I've gotten all the fabric off, but I'm not sure what my next step is. I think I'm going to try and demo some of this wood. The fabric and all that padding was pretty heavy, but this whole piece is still quite heavy. Um, and I can't remove the staples that are holding the springs on quite yet, so I'm hoping that I can demo some of the wood and get that off of here and get to the springs that way. I guess I should mention I didn't need any power tools or anything to get this uh, box spring apart. It did take a lot of elbow grease, but um, here I'm just using a rubber mallet, a 5-in-1 tool, and my hammer to pull all of these wood pieces apart. So I've been able to knock one piece of the frame loose 
And I think maybe I can get to these little staples now that are holding it to the uh, coils. So I'm going to go ahead and try and pull some of those out uh, using these, I don't know what these are, what they're called, but they're, you know, nail pulling pliers. So hopefully uh, between a couple of tools, I'll be able to get these staples out and get this piece of wood off. Oh, lovely. That was pretty easy. I wasn't able to get close to them a lot before, but now this seems like it's going to go pretty fast. You definitely want gloves for this job. Um, these, some of the springs are not quite as tight as others, but I definitely scraped up my hands a couple of times getting this started. But now I'm at a place where I can kind of just unwind it. And it's not snapping right back on there. So this is going to take longer than I thought, I think. But I think I'm going to be able to just uncoil most of this. I wasn't able to get those back slats off because they are... Oops. You can see this is very wobbly. Um, because they are stapled on kind of in through the springs and it's very hard to get in there with anything to pull them out. Uh, I also can't really lay this down because I've got nails on the back. So the good news is that the springs, I thought they were kind of hooked together, but I still need to get this one off of here. Whoops, you can't see it. Let me cock this up a little. I do have one spring that's almost loose. So uh, I'm not really sure how much I'm going to get done here, but I, I think I can get a couple of springs loose and then I'll have to assess how much longer this is going to take me. So I've been working for about two hours trying to get the springs off of the frame and pulling the rest of the wood off and I'm about three quarters of the way done. So um, I have a lot of interesting pieces. I think I'm going to be able to salvage some of the wood, which is good for other projects. I have a ton of this kind of fun springy stuff that seems like it would be good for little garden stakes or something to put something on. And then of course I have a gazillion of these bed springs, so um, I'm probably not going to be able to use all of them, but I'm glad that I was able to save some of this from going straight to the landfill and um, I'm hopeful that I will come up with some interesting and fun projects using this, these materials. I will say that this has been really kind of tough work. I'm, my, I'm feeling pretty tired. I had to take a long break, but uh, working with this wire, it's very, the spring wire is very strong wire, so you kind of have to fight with it a little bit. Um, but uh, it's been kind of a fun project, even though it's making me pretty tired. And um, like I said, I hope I'll come up with some fun projects with uh, all of these raw materials. So I don't know if all of these old bed frames were put together exactly the same way, but this one, I've had to uncoil the wire from this very outside frame, and it is not easy to work with. It definitely fights back. Once that's out of the way, let me tip this up a little bit. I'm just using my nail pulling pliers again and cutting these other springs and then I can just twist them out. But the, this wire is hard to cut and I mean, it's definitely strong, strong wire.
But once you have a shorter piece, you can see how you just twist it out. And then there's another wire on the bottom here. I need to take this uh, board out from under also. There's, it's, the boards are just held on with a couple of staples here and there. So I can get in there with my screwdriver to pull off the staples that are holding the springs to the boards. The slats seem to be pretty nice pieces of wood, so I think I am going to try to save those. I'm just going to clip this bottom wire and wind it off. The same way I did the top. And then my springs will be loose. So you can see it's a kind of time-consuming process. But once you have the two pieces of wire unwound, you can have your, you get to your loose pieces of spring. So I'm just going to keep working away. I think I have another hour to go or so. And then I'm going to clean up this mess. my box springs taken completely apart and got uh, moved it out of the spare bedroom so this is what it looks like now uh, I've got some scrap pieces of wood that we've already cut up that are ready for our fire pit I've got nine of these bed slats that I still need to remove the nails from but I think they're gonna uh, be salvageable wood for some future project hopefully I have three full boxes of these bed springs. So I've got a ton of bed springs. Of course, this one's all coiled up, but uh, so if you need some bed springs, let me know. <laughs> I have plenty of extras, but hopefully I'll find some good projects for those. I've also got quite a lot of this, um, these smaller springs that were holding all the bed springs together, uh, which I think will be fun for some future project as well. And then I have this crazy rectangular piece that was the frame that all the springs were screwed to. And uh, it just seems like a fun piece. I don't know, I, I have, I'm saving it for some project. Hopefully I'll come up with something because it just seems like a fun and unique uh, thing to have. And then I do have uh, the batting and the fabric that we're going to be throwing away and this whatever oh, horsehair heavy scratchy blankety thing um, those two things are going to go into the trash but the rest of the box springs was saved from the landfill so hopefully uh, like I said I'll come up with some good projects for that 
And speaking of projects, it's time for my quickie first bed spring project. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel or to my blog at www.upcycledesignlab.com. And as always, I hope to see you back here soon in the lab.